Hello from Shrix and hello from Smarthood. What's up folks? In this video, we are going to learn about how do we convert speech to text in Android. And we will learn this concept with the help of a small demo application whose source code will be made available for you to use. So here inside the Android studio, this is the application that I have just created. Speech to text demo application. And this is the layout of activity main.xml that contains a text view and a image view. And the parent layout is actually the relative layout. On click of this image view, this method get speech input will be executed present inside the main activity. So let us create this method inside the main activity alt enter and create this method inside our activity class. And now this image simply points to this IC underscore mic image present inside the drawable folder. So right inside the drawable folder, you will find this image. So currently I am using this icon and you can get this icon from the Google itself. Or please check the GitHub source code to get this icon. Also, let us initialize this text view that will simply represent the output of the speech of the user. So here I have simply initialized my text view. And now inside this method, let us use the implicit intent to get the input of the user in the form of speech or you can say the voice. So with the help of this intent, we are simply going to invoke the applications that support the speech input. So as a parameter, simply pass recognizer intent dot action recognize speech. Fine. And now next simply call start activity for result and simply pass intent as a parameter and as a second parameter let us pass 10. And now along with this intent we want to put some extra values as well such as intent dot put extra simply use the class of recognizer intent dot extra language model. So this is the key and as a value simply pass recognizer intent dot language model free form. Now as a value, you can also pass language model web search. But here I will use language model free form that will simply take user input in the free form. And now you must be thinking what this action recognize speech stands for. So let us check the documentation. So if you look at the documentation here, you will find it simply starts an activity that will prompt the user for the speech input and send it through a speech recognizer. And the result will be returned back to our main activity from that particular speech recognizing activity in the form of intent. And it also requires some extra value such as this is the required extra such as extra language model. And there are certain optional extras that we can also add with this intent such as extra prompt, extra language and so on. So here inside the main activity, we have simply defined extra language model, which is the required extra here. Fine. Now, now along with this, let us add extra language as well. So as a value here, let us pass locale dot get default. Now even if you comment this and run the application, then also the default value will be from locale.getDefault only. Now this get default simply points to the default language of your Android device. Now suppose if you want locale dot, let's say German, then in that case, what are the things that we need to take care of? I will let you know later. So as of now, let it be locale dot get default and then start activity for result. And before that, since this is the implicit intent, so we need to make sure that we have the activity present in our Android device that supports this implicit intent. So for that, let us use else simply show a toast message that this feature is not supported in your device. And after we have started the activity to get the desired result, we will get the call back inside on activity result method. So let us override the method of on activity result. And now inside this method, what we can do, 
let us write our switch case statement. So inside the onActivityResult method, with the help of this request code, this 10 which is our request code should be exactly same as this 10 that we have defined as a second parameter of start activity for result. So make sure these two values actually matches. And then let us check if the result was perfectly okay. And now after we have checked that if the result code was, was totally okay and the data is not equal to null, then simply extract the result from the incoming intent which is the data right so here what we can do data dot get string array list extra and as a value simply pass recognizer intent dot extra underscore results and this method simply returns the array list of string so here simply assign it to the array list of string result and now with the help of this text view at the top let us display the result. So this completes our code inside the main activity. Now let us run our application and this time I am simply going to use my real Android device. I am not going to use any emulator here. So make sure you run this application in your real Android device. So here our application is now up and running. So let us click on this button. Hello. And yes, our application is now working perfectly fine. I said hello and as a result, we got hello in return. Let us try something different. How are you? And yes, how are you? We got as a result back from the speech recognition activity. So our application is now working perfectly fine. Now currently, my device is currently connected to the Wi-Fi. So suppose if I turn on the flight mode and disconnect the internet, then let's check out if our application works or not. Hey, I am fine. And here our application is again working fine. Now suppose if your application in the absence of internet do not works as per the expectation then what you can do, you can simply check if your application is actually available for the offline use or not. So for that you can simply navigate to the settings application and inside this simply navigate to language and input option. And here simply make sure that Google voice typing is actually turned on to automatic. And inside this, simply navigate to offline speech recognition menu. And now here you can see the default language that is the English I have already installed in my device. That is why it is working perfectly fine even if, even in the absence of the internet. Now suppose if I try to speak something in the language of let's say German then in the offline use, my application is not going to work fine. So in that case, here inside this tab, simply download the language that you want to support in your application. Simply download it and then inside the main activity, here as a language, it is default. So now you can change it to let's say german And then simply run your application again so this time your application will simply support the German language in the absence of internet as well. But now let's make it default. And at the end of this video, let us do one thing. Let us right click, git commit directory, let's say speech to text functionality. Give the commit message and I will simply commit and push it to the GitHub repository so that you can get the source code from the github right so this is all for this video hope you like what you saw in this video so to support me please share this video like this video and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this this is shrieks from smarthead signing off thank you